It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Scorpio. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, because that's how I keep up with y'all. Um, also, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Scorpio, I would really appreciate it if you were to take the extra step to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, Scorpio, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. And then also, Scorpio, remember to, um, uh, <laughs> to use your intuition. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here today Scorpio to give you some food for thought, perspective to consider but never making the choice in your life. So all that being said darling let's just get into this reading. Now full transparency honey it is hot here. I live in the Pacific Northwest up in Washington Scorpio and it is over 100 degrees darling so if you see me being extra shiny today <laughs> that is the reason. So uh, let's just get into your reading now, Scorpio. Um, you guys are my first on incorporating new cards into this uh, reading. I've had this deck for a while, but haven't used it in public. So we have the uh, Aistibus, I believe is how you pronounce their name. Aistibus, Angel of Divination, Scorpio. This is the angel stepping forward to let me know of the overall theme for this week for you, Scorpio. So definitely this is a situation of where I feel... I want to just say, uh, for some of you Scorpios, you're ignoring your intuition on something. I feel as if you're getting a little bit of insight on how to... Well, I don't. I can't even speak because I feel like it's just because it's a general reading, Scorpio. It's, I can't really pinpoint like in what specific way, but I feel like you're ignoring the signs or something. I don't know if you haven't been paying attention or if you are just trying to be in denial about it, Scorpio. But it is showing to me a situation where there are spirits asking for you to pay attention to um, the signs from the universe in whatever way that looks like for you. This is definitely going to be a week where you're going to be getting guidance. And so it's important for you, Scorpio, to pay attention. Let's continue on with this. My cat just <laughs> sat down next to me. So we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is what's going on here, Scorpio. I'm getting a storyline now of where it's telling me that you're almost resistant into uh, making yourself uncomfortable with something, Scorpio. In this sense here, we can gather where it's one of the things where... I feel like you could challenge yourself more, Scorpio. I mean, this is me just having to be honest, right? Holding an honest conversation with you, Scorpio. Having to be a little bit blunt, but that's why y'all are here for that blunt message, right? But with this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, it's just kind of telling me this storyline where uh, you're being presented with the opportunity of where it's like, you know where to sink your energy into. You know where to challenge yourself in one specific way, Scorpio. But uh, you're kind of being a little bit lenient, right? Let's continue on. We have the judgment card in the back of the deck that I wanted to step forward. So is this just a sense of being afraid, uh, you Scorpio being afraid of taking action? Is this what's been going on in your life right now? You are just afraid of taking action, especially with the judgment card. It's more than just action, Scorpio. This is all about um, afraid of like falling on your face, right? Afraid of if you were to take action on this, maybe there is, you know, dealing with that imposter syndrome or maybe just the idea of you being vulnerable, Scorpio, is what psychs you out from challenging yourself in this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, right? We have the Three of Pentacles coming in as well. So definitely associated with contracts as well. And Scorpio, you've gotten this. I believe in your last week's reading, I was pushing for you, Scorpio, through your tarot cards in that um, no longer to be a lone wolf. I feel like you needed to, uh, the overall message was asking you, Scorpio, to be more of a team player, incorporating other people's perspectives, other incorporating, um, yeah, just overall, just a sense of, working together with others and so in this sense here scorpio are you ignoring like the signs that spirit's presenting to you of where like of who to work with is there is just like this resistance of uh again still just not wanting to put yourself out there 
we have the page of wands and in the reverse yeah this seems to be like the brick wall that you end up hitting each time scorpio is where it's just like you are shown the sign that you're like very so close so close to really stepping into your excellence in some type of way but um in the storyline here with this knight of pentacles in the reverse with the judgment card this is you being afraid of taking that leap of faith very much so that full energy especially with the page of wands i always say is like my fresh start you have the opportunity to really step up to the plate um in some aspect of your life scorpio definitely three of pentacles and i do get that you know this is the card of contracts this is both these cards as well the judgment card as well as the three of pentacles scorpio both of these cards represent like seeing type some type of energy on a pedestal kind of is how i see this you look at the judgment card the three of pentacles there's always like layers like uh <laughs> to like where each individual is. The judgment card, it's the individual looking up, right? Trying to ascend, not sure if they're able to be up for the task, if they're actually um, able to, right? Now of pentacles, usually when it's in the upright uh, Scorpio, this is a sense of where it's like, you know, you're going into the uncharted territory. You're really making grounds in new way. And so that being in the reverse, it's almost this sense of really not wanting to make yourself uncomfortable right so let's continue on what is going to be the uh biggest objective the biggest hurdle for my scorpios to go through this week definitely pay attention without angels stepping forward to you um scorpio definitely pay attention to the signs this week this is probably like your heaviest time of where spirits are trying to like assist you in, in this path right if you listen to their guidance if you follow the breadcrumbs that they leave this week this could be like feathers this could be whatever whatever you identify with your spirit guides or ancestors or what have you um scorpio definitely pay attention to this week and definitely include other people right but let's see the biggest hurdle for you this week scorpio we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse coming in for you, darling. All right, so this Ten of Wands shows to me individual of... Mm, it's almost like you left a couple of groceries in the, ba uh, in the back of your truck, Scorpio. Some unfinished business, darling, right? I feel like you guys have been releasing a lot, having a lot of closure, accepting things for how they are, but I feel like um, as you're bringing in all those groceries, right, that you're carrying, darling... Scorpio, I do get a sense that like some water bottles like slipped back there or like some produce, honey, and you're not going to notice it until like a week later and you smell something in your car, right? I feel like there's some uh, groceries that you left in, uh, <laughs> you know, that baggage that you kind of still need to do a little bit of more healing on, right? We have the like, King of Pentacles in the reverse coming in here. So it's all about stability, darling, you being able to create, you being able to bring forth a lot more, um, just creating um, more of a high vibrational energy into a situation, whether it be manifesting funds or whether it just is overall like a relationship in your life, a connection in your life. Um, it's because of this unpacked stuff that you haven't really fully released is why it's impacting your overall stability. So what is the what are those groceries that are, have been left unattended for you, Scorpio? Is it, you know, looking at the small parts of why it is you're insecure and that's why you don't want to go out? right and uh go into uncharted territories is there some trauma that you need to heal that gives you your intimacy issues if this is talking about a person is this like a situation of where maybe like businesses that you've done before scorpio you fell flat on your face so this the idea of challenging yourself again stepping up to the plate trying to create another business you're afraid of being vulnerable and seen by many eyes right what is your story like right we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is all about stability, darling. Um, this is all about your stability and just bring, like, this is where, what we're identifying right here, Scorpio, is um, some type of block. <laughs> There's some type of blockage in your life, and I know that sounds just so cliche, doesn't it, darling? But there is some type of block being presented to you, Scorpio, where it's like the resistance of, like, closing out a cycle, so whether this cycle is just like your relationship that you have with your physical health um, or the relationship that you have with yourself personally on a personal level, like how you view yourself, how um, this is what the block is that we're looking at that you haven't attended to fully. And the Magician card coming in here. So you can pair these three up, darling. This is straight up like a situation where I'm looking at a Scorpio right now who has imposter syndrome. I'm looking at a Scorpio right now who 
has some type of um, limiter, whatever your excuse is, Scorpio, for why it is you don't want to put yourself out there. If you're insecure about your looks, if you're insecure about your ability to even create or whatever, there's something going on internally, I feel, that has you doubting your ability to bring forth more stability and creating more stability in your life, right? It seems to be some type of cycle that you are continuously repeating, Scorpio, as well, for this situation like i feel like this has kind of been an ongoing thing this is not some type of new cycle honey this is something that's just you know maybe you've tried to approach it every which way and each time scorpio just hasn't worked out so um very interesting darling i already hear that scorpio i wonder how you guys are gonna overcome that so now, Scorpio, let's take a look at the good things coming to you or the good things that are in the works for you this week, darling. Let's get some more good news coming in for you. I've been a little bit rough with you, darling, don't you think, Scorpio? Let's see. Let's look at the good things coming to you. Starting this out, honey, we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So you, got, you guys definitely are this week um scorpio going to be claiming back some of your power having a better sense of yourself um this is all going to be this has the potential to be a very empowering empowering uh week for you scorpio if you allow this to happen right um definitely take this week to self-reflect and figure out where it is that you are feeling unempowered this week because i really do feel like once you really get comfortable with your own essence darling scorpio that's when you address that baggage darling and that's when i feel like the gateway of just goodness opens up for you but let me stop speaking out of pocket honey and let me continue with these cards nine of wands definitely addressing the anxieties honey this nine of swords or i said nine of wands this is the nine of swords y'all scorpio this heat you see me right here <laughs> no um nine of swords this is those lingering thoughts this is, you're you do have like i feel like this is just the time scorpio to really take this time to address your inner anxieties that have been consistently haunting you every single day and ask yourself the question of why you haven't identified and taken care of those nine of swords that nine of swords um those anxieties the star card being associated with this as well yeah i mean scorpio you just have to do this part and everything starts un uh, unlocking for you queen of pentacles coming in as well queen of pentacles in the star card is a powerful sense because the star card is usually associated with um, trying to reach out and grab up at something that you just wanted so badly and it's always felt out of reach for you right and this nine of swords is what's impeding this scorpio and so it's showing to me if you take this week of really trying to figure out how you because it's going to be individualistic right you, maybe some of you guys have to do some shadow work maybe some of you guys just have to not be embarrassed about um celebrating yourself right whatever your storyline is i do feel like once you get those like last few bits of that <laughs> that's left in the car right the groceries that you uh, left in the car honey right as i talked about with this ten of wands i really do feel like that's when a lot of forward momentum will come into your life darling so now scorpio oh honey <laughs> anyone thirsty right oh, that's gross isn't it um so now scorpio let's get into a little bit of um what's going on up for your social life this week and when i say social life scorpio i mean more than just right you're romantic because we have more than that we have work life we have family we have friends platonic friends right we have all sorts so let's get some insight in there we have the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. So, uh, Scorpio, a similar message in the sense to last week, where I was asking for you. Also, take note, even this week, of collaborative energies. I really do feel like you need to practice your vulnerability a little bit more, Jarly. Um, This is definitely a time of where you need to start like, asking for help and accepting help, accepting other perspectives, right? Um... Definitely you have people in your life this week, Scorpio, that are trying to connect with you deeper, that could help you out in your life and just even be good presences in your life, honey, right? Let's get some clarifiers on this, though. 
We have the page of water. So this could be a representation of either deepening of your current relationship, Scorpio, because, or this could be the re a representation of a new person coming into your life. Now I'm not going to say which way it is, right? Because obviously, like, naturally, if I want, like, ooh, new person, darling, but you know your social circle best, right? So, like, whenever I see a reading, it's just like, oh, new love coming in. I'm just like, girl, I'm going to be sitting in my house all this week. So I don't know what you're what you talking about. So, like, you know your situation. So if, take this message as it is aware. It's like you need to allow, because like, this could be talking about the deepening of a current situation, darling. Um, even that's what the Page of Cups represents, um, just by definition. Uh, so definitely. And so even take this as a sign this week, Scorpio, if there is a new presence trying to come into your life, whether it's in person or whether it's online, um, entertain it a little bit more, right? Because that this card, New Moon and Virgo, is a powerful one of where it's really telling you, it's just like, it's okay to open up, honey. It's okay. And I know last week I was really telling hard on you guys, Page of Pentacles. Now I do have to be honest here, Scorpio. Just aside from what I was just saying, now we got to go into this a little bit deeper because this is even be more beautiful than a, the original message, darling. Because pages represents new energy, usually. So, um, and also take note in this page of cups, you see not many people notice it in this deck, but you see like an astral hand. So, that's usually I would take this as a sign from like spirit trying to assist you, right? And so, we go back to the very beginning, full circle moment, darling Scorpio, with this one with a divination how it's telling you about the signs there's some type of like this is literally panning out to be a situation scorpio where it's like <laughs> i do feel like for a heavily heavy amount of y'all um a person's trying to be presented in your life that spirit's trying to place in your life some someone that you could even entertain to be in your soul tribe but i don't even want to, you know you get the point page of pentacles also talks about new communication extending out your pentacles um to something and the seven of pentacles so this is where we ground this energy back into reality that i feel like is kind of the main message now um this is the clarifier where it's like well I guess I don't want to dismiss a new energy entirely still, Scorpio, but now for this, if I were to be taking this for like more of my hermited Scorpios, uh, this is more of a message of where it's like the energies that you already have invested into, right? The seeds that you already planted with people, right? And so just the deepening of that kind of energy, right? Time to be more, uh, you know, look at some of the plants that you've planted those plants being the relationships in your life scorpio and ask yourself what you can do personally to be closer to them right take it in that message or you know still just you know i have to relay like all sides of the messages and the signs that they represent uh scorpio but you could also take this as a sign of where um someone coming into your life but it would be this week right it would be the week that i have listed i don't remember off the top of my head scorpio what it's like the date is so i don't want to say it wrong but it's like from july 5th or whatever to whatever day is like 11 what have you scorpio you would be during that time frame i'm not saying um <laughs> so you get the point darling but now scorpio let's get into your financial and career this week how this is all in the works for you as well honey we have the uh, blue moon, darling. I love this. Believe in the impossible. So this is a, uh, very much so a situation of, of be very open, I would say, Scorpio, to uh, how your finances come this week or even how um, just almost like just the opportunity uh, involved when it comes to your finances. I do feel as if some of you guys are losing faith or having wavering faith, this stress almost associated with your finances and so again i want to just go back to the original divinating card right the angel um it's, it's referencing with this i do feel like if this influences this reading as well our portion scorpio just because of where it's like i feel like spirit could be also part of this process and helping bring forth <clears throat> eight of cups seven of cups came flying out scorpio yeah um, this is a definite message for those Scorpios that have been kind of just stuck at decisions on where to sink their energy into next uh, uh, and leaving a situation actively. With this uh, uh, Eight of Cups going to bigger and better waters, um, this is why you're being told to believe in the impossible because this individual here, you know, the storyline just as for this card in it itself, Scorpio, is someone who 
um, is in the desert. They're at a good water source, darling, but they are feeling in there. And it's like, you know, this is eight cups. I want 10 cups. I want more, right? And she, without knowing if there's going to be water in the future, she trusts the process. He, she, whatever, they trust the process, right? And hoping they can find more water, right? They're believing in the impossible, honey. And so seven of cups comes in with choices as well, Scorpio. And so instead of being at an indecision, um, kind of committing to something, ace of cups, um, this represents new energies as well. Right? This is like opening your heart up, darling, to new opportunity. Um, definitely overall going back to the general portion right off the bat, Scorpio, this comes in as that message of not being afraid of leaving your comfort zone, not being afraid of going into the uncharted territory, honey. Oh my gosh, Scorpio, y'all are my first reading for this spread and I'm like so happy I have so many goosebumps because it's just, I connect with Oracle cards the best. <laughs> and so it's just, y'all, ah, powerful reading. I hope I get the Scorpios that will watch this through because I feel like it's going to reach such a powerful message and really help so many of you guys. So that's all centered. I don't care. Let's get a quote, Scorpio, to close out this reading as well with my quote cards. Let's see a quote that you can carry on to you this week before we close this reading out. Let's see here. This card says, when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Okay, Scorpio, can we just, I'm not going to repeat myself because I feel like you kind of get the message if you paid attention for this entire message and you'll understand the impactfulness of this card, right? Trust in the divine, honey. They really are trying to help you out this week, Scorpio. Make it your priority to listen to your intuition and to not doubt it and to make it a point to get support from not only the universe, but the people that are in your life. This wraps in, this goes, completes this message, this reading for you so beautifully, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did find any cards that resonate with you, let me know in the comments below, honey. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Scorpio. Uh, also, if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me, my website is just down below. It's simply Velcro. Dot com. If you'd like to connect with me on my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, everything, honey, is just simply welcome. Um, and then, yeah, if you have a friend that's into tarot, Scorpio, send them this video or one of their Zodiac videos, and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Scorpio, I love you so much. Good luck.